Hey folks and welcome back to another how to video. In today's video we're going to be looking at the Elgato Stream Deck, more importantly the Elgato Stream Deck Mini. In this video we're going to be looking at setting up your Stream Deck with OBS. Just how to launch OBS using your Stream Deck, how to set up recording, how to switch between scenes and how to go live. Quick and easy setup for beginners so let's get stuck straight into it and here's a little bit about Elgato. The first thing we want to do is open our Stream Deck app. Obviously, you'll have already downloaded the app because it's the first thing you do when you plug it in. And the first button we are going to program is going to be OBS Studio Startup. So just for training purposes, I am going to select a new profile and we will start from the beginning. Now that we have our new profile selected, First thing that we're going to do is OBS Startup, which is basically so straightforward. I was so surprised when I, was, when I first tried it. It was like, so easy. So what you want to do is you want to minimize your Stream Deck screen and simply grab the shortcut from your desktop or in your files and drag it and drop it into the window. Simple as that. And it's, you know, drag and drop play. Once you have that dragged into the little slot, the little window, you can see the title. You can change the title now. I have it set up as OBS Studio. And you can see the file location there. You can name it whatever you want. And then you can change the text here and the, the font type and the size and even the color. As we move on to the next little window we're going to program, it is Select Scene in OBS. Now, you will already have your scene set up in OBS. If you do not, uh, I suggest you do that first as it will make life a lot easier and maybe name them so that you'll remember them. If you don't know how to do that, check out a video of mine that I did about OBS setup. It will be linked in the video at the end. So all we need to do is go down to your OBS studio, grab the scene, drag it right over, name it whatever you want. I'll just say scene collection on title just leave it the way it is and then it'll bring up your scenes in OBS and you just need to select whatever one you want this button to launch I have many selected there live stream which means now when I select that button on my stream deck it will launch the scene in OBS very simple folks drag and drop and once again super simple over on your right hand side where it says OBS studio we're going to put the next window to record which means all you gotta do is drag that little record button and put it right in the window and that's you voila ready to go and then obviously depending on how many scenes you actually have on OBS you can select multiple scenes like for example I would have uh, like an intro to my stream say when you start your live stream and you're not quite ready have like a little intro when an OBS plays a video so you can have that and you can select that so say intro and then live stream beginning and then that button will be programmed then for when it launches it will launch a little intro screen on my OBS and then really the last thing you need to know to set up your stream deck for OBS is your go live button so just over on the right hand side where it says OBS studio go straight down to where it says stream drag it over and select it into the window which means when you select that button you will go live provided you have your broadcast set up on OBS of course. So folks that's pretty much it. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Drag and drop. Uh, everything's sort of streamlined. It's really user friendly and it works absolutely amazing. I'm so pumped with it. Uh, we'll just start off with the 
with the basic stuff obviously there is it can go in a lot more in depth but we have our obs launcher set up we can select uh, scenes in obs we have a button to record and we have a button to go live and you can also program to do other things but we'll not get into that right now and the next video we will go through that there also you can add awesome thumbnails and uh, wallpapers to your stream deck but that will be for another day anyway folks thanks for watching take it easy and i'll see you all in the next one